<laughs> you have only one honey. I have many. I have many. Yes, and many are one. Many are one. You see that uh, the highest teachings of this Eastern wisdom. Uh, you can say that it is in the, <clears throat> what? It is in the Upanishad. Let us take what we are studying. It is in the Yoga Sutra. So then uh, where, how to approach? You know, we are Americans. We can approach from anywhere. But that doesn't work. <laughs> in this journey, that does not work. So normally what we say that highest teaching, say, for example, it is in Yoga Sutra, clear? Now, but we have to understand the basic terms and definition. So we have a couple of texts to understand the basic terms and definition. A simple example, I'm studying chemistry, but uh, the advanced chemistry. Uh, covalent bonding, electrovalent bonding. Uh, Sam might be aware if you are uh, the student of the science. But if I do not understand the element, I cannot understand the highest principle. So now see that what we are doing here, but I pick up, I add something here and there to make you understand. So there are texts which gives you the basic terms and definition. That is the beginning of a journey. Then from those terms and definition, we have to study another text that gives you a lot of concepts and analogies. Huh? That is how we understand even IT, computer, any, any branch of knowledge. Any branch of knowledge. Then we come to the third group of the text, uh, which gives us a system, an organized method, what to practice, how to practice, where we are heading to, so everything becomes clear. Then what happens, still the intellect is remains full of doubt. No, I'm running. Kate just sent me, no, 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 uh, I cannot do the session. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving. So we know, we teachers of the Eastern wisdom, we know where you are heading to, where your mind is. So we need not to say anything to you. So then there are fourth group of, fifth group of the text where we understand the logic, the very thinking, how the mind is thinking and how the mind should think. You see, that is what the knowledge, that is what, you know, the entire IT industry is based on binary, binary numbers. Huh? Sam knows it. Huh? Yes, you know. <laughs> so we should, we should understand. We should have a logical understanding. Right? Then comes Yoga Sutra. What it is trying to teach. Are you getting it? Then we understand, oh, this is what yoga is trying to teach us. So now we skipped everything. <laughs> and we say, okay, let us start. Study. We have studied how many hours? 100 hours, 200 hours, 500 hours. So, well, you have been breathing for 20, 30, 40 years, just give a break for about a week. What a big deal. Huh? Randy, give a break. <laughs> so this is, you know, that mindset must change. When that mindset changes, you are there. You are there. So otherwise, what happens? No basic terms, definition, concepts, analogies, logic. From where the practice has come, 
We don't know. We do the practice. We experience the change. But the mind inside keeps all those crazy stuff. So it returns to the same attitude. Do you see that? So when it returns to the same attitude, what that attitude says, oh, I will do it tomorrow. (laughs) Do you see I will breathe tomorrow? (laughs) We don't say it. Why? It threatens my... It threatens my security, right? And what I'm searching. I want to get rid of my all insecurities. This is what the journey. Now I'm becoming a little bit serious. We have been doing it for about a year. So I ah, pick up those uh, simple principles. Understand. Understand why I am running, why I am lazy, why I fight, why I am angry, why, why, why. Thanks to Jerry and uh, David, you know. So at least they are taking care. So at least I, I need not to ask you anything from you. Even if you give, that is okay. You don't give, that is okay. You know, you see the security, the insecurity. So once what we are searching in this world, I want to get rid of all my insecurities. I find my security in money, but money doesn't give me. I find my security in honey, it doesn't give me. Can you tell me you have 100% belief if you have? then you don't have any differences. That is the journey. Once we follow this journey, so let us pick up. So the third sutra about existence, about God, uh, this master says, So esh purvesham api guru kalena such a beautiful, simple, simple translation is that God is not limited by the time and he is the teacher of all the teachers in the past. This is the message Patanjali is giving. Now you see that, did I tell you? That if you know the basic terms and definitions, then you know the concepts, you know. So five or six or seven texts you have studied. And then you understand. Then you, I speak of this sutra, formula. You say, I know it. I know it. You know. Ask uh, Sam, what is cybersecurity? He will immediately tell you because he knows those basics. How simple it is. Same thing. So what it is saying? So now we have to understand this. So what I do, I mix up everything. You know, we don't talk about heaven and hell. Even if we have to go to hell or heaven... We have to die. We do not know whether we go there or not. It's a promise in the future. We don't talk about it. No. We don't, we does not talk about promise that is not understood. That is the beauty of the Eastern West. If it is not understood, it is a promise in the future. Any teacher of the Eastern wisdom gives you a hope and a promise in the future. Leslie, drop him. Find another teacher. I want to understand. Honey also gives us promise. (laughs) (laughs) So, you know, the understanding, what is that understanding? It is knowledge that removes wrong notion clears mind, 
brings conviction in the intellect. That is why Patanjali explained the typical attitude. That typical attitude, I should have a typical attitude. What is that typical attitude? Of a seeker that we covered in five sutras. I think everyone knows it. And the five, how to become a seeker. Now you miss that. Uh, I know, I understand. I have a right attitude. But I am busy today, so I cannot attend. <laughs> so you have a right attitude. We understand all those things. That's how I have undergone. That's how I have been mentored. And that's how my master told me. You are committed? Crazy guy. Why didn't you come today? Well, we have an American attitude. We cannot say. How the hell, you crazy teacher? So you see, there is a there is a conflict. So how to resolve that conflict? Then we say it is a pragmatic journey. It is not an idealist journey. It is not a dream. What is pragmatic journey? It is realistic. We are subjected to insecurities and searching securities. But we cannot find any security in the world outside. Am I 100% clear? Just think, I am 100% clear that I do not find any security. Then what I will do? Now I have to understand the Eastern wisdom and I am committed to the practice. I am a seeker. This is a burning question of my life that I'm, I have looked everything in the world, in the sexual pleasure, in the wealth, in the relationship, that there is no security there. Now my mind is ready. Is your mind ready? <laughs> that we need to ask. So when you are asked, then you are a seeker. Do you see that? That seeker and Eastern wisdom expects what they expect, what I expect, that you should understand these principles with a clarity. Why to understand? That gives the knowledge in the mind. So what happens when the knowledge that, that goes into the mind? You change your attitude. Attitude towards what? Your attitude of working, of living your life. Do you see that? Attitude, my attitude changes. So when I say I wake up at four, not for you. Just that that has become an attitude. That has become an attitude. Why it has become an attitude? I find a permanent security there. No more running. So what is this journey? This journey is upgrading and updating your life. You upgrade your life from moment to moment. That is the journey of meditation. So what happens after upgrading? you realize permanent security is there, so happiness is there within me. I was unnecessarily searching peace and happiness from others. So what should I do? Should I now go to heaven or wait for going to the heaven or hell? No. Now my life means I should express that peace and happiness. So my attitude of living in the world is to express peace and happiness, love and wisdom. See that? Is that awakening? Yes. We don't leave anything in the world. We continue to live in the same way. But everything has changed. Everything has changed in my life. So I don't see anyone as an object of pleasure. I see it as an object for expression of the same reality.
that I have found. That is what meditation is. So what expectation must meet knowledge? This is the journey. This is what we are studying. But if I'm not a seeker, then this expectation will never meet. Huh? So what now this master says, this self, this real self is not limited by time. He, that existence, that God is not limited by time that we have understood in the previous session. So I have been telling you that then it's mastered. Yoga, this Patanjali says, he is the ultimate teacher. Who? That existence. Who is that existence? That God. So where it lives? Deep inside my heart. Oh, then it's living deep inside me. Why the hell I learn from you, beard guy? Let me leave the session when it is already there within me. So because we do not know. So we should have a teacher for you to know. That is what we have a driver teacher. We have a teacher in the university, in the schools for a different learning. <clears throat> you know, when it comes when it comes to the yoga teacher, you know, I don't want to make any teacher. So because those things are not clear. Now see, my teacher, uh, just for the sake, for, for understanding, for the sake of understanding, I'm your teacher. For the sake of understanding. I don't feel that I'm your teacher. You all are my teachers. Anyhow, so just for the sake of, then who is my teacher? So I have my teacher. Who is my, my teacher's teacher? So who is the ultimate teacher? The ultimate teacher is the knowledge. Knowledge cannot be changed. No, you cannot have alternate effects. <laughs> knowledge is knowledge. <laughs> you understand that? So now see that where that knowledge lives, is that knowledge my real self? Master says real self is of the nature of knowledge and consciousness. So the ultimate teacher is the real self living in symbolically deep inside my heart. And what is meditation? Is the discovery of that real self. No, I am stressed. For God's sake, for the sake of the real self within you, stop saying this from today. Leslie, stop saying this today that I'm stressed. No, I have a lot of problems. So the ultimate teacher is deeper inside. Now go a little deeper. So master, now take up the sutras. What is the sutra? So esha purvesham api guru kale nav nir avan anav chedat. 26 sutra. So he says, Ishwar, the God is one. And he is even the teacher of all the great masters in the past. Means he is one. He is timeless. He is beyond the name in the form. He is pure consciousness. Am I conscious? Am I conscious? That's why you are listening. <laughs> Without consciousness, you are not listening. So that consciousness is present here and now. So I have to find out what is that ultimate living, pulsating here. Understand it by simple example.
Brandy just introduced her honey. Yeah, take this example. So Brandy said, she is my honey. Pay attention. My honey is not me. Right? Means, here is my honey and I am not my honey. Right? Clear? Now use the same logic. Now you see that I'm using the different teachings from the different books. Now comes the understanding through the logic. So I say this is my body, right? First I say this is my body, then I am the body. That is the biggest problem. We identify that causes the attachment, that causes the ego, that is looking for insecurity, that is experiencing the pain and suffering. Fill in the blanks. This is my donkey. Do I say I am? This is my body. I say it, <laughs> I am the body. <laughs> this is my dog. I am, fill in the blanks. <laughs> Do you fill in the blanks? Do you say, I am the dog, I am the dog? So this mind has become I. That is what the ego is. And when you have an ego, you are limited by time. You are limited by shape. You are limited by event. You are gone. You suffer. Then you are running and living in insecurity. So the master says, that God is existence which is dwelling in you, it is of the nature of consciousness, is the teachers of all. You know, many, uh, many teachers in our tradition, they, they listen to this sutra first time, and now I'm the teacher, I'm the guru of the world. That is ego. <laughs> <laughs> that is ego. Are you understanding that? So the master says, unlimited, unchanged, not broken. That unbroken witness consciousness beyond the time and beyond the space is God, that God does not live in the heaven or the hell. Yoga does not promise heaven or hell. It says here and now. Are you ready? Are you a seeker? And if you are a seeker, you are there. The journey then becomes a joy of conscious living. Think of this again and again. I am the body. From where it has come, first I see this is my body. I am the body. Ego starts its journey. When the ego starts, it limits you in time and the space. Then the ego says, where is the security? Keep running on more and more. You earn less, you have insecurity. You earn more, there is still insecurity. That's why you don't tell me how much money you have in your bank account. <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> that is why you don't. See that? So the master is talking about that permanent security where... It lies within me. 
It is different from sleeper, waker, dreamer, body, mind, intellect, ego. That is the search of meditation. So when I'm committed, journey is here. Let us start our practice of meditation. Eyes are 